Where we last left off, we could see the assembled view, we could see the bottom view, we couldn't see the sides. I have that fixed now, so let's go to create a new sheet. And uh, I don't like that this is moved here. Let's drag that back up in between here. Let's put in one more new sheet. Ah, I did it again. Okay, this first one is going to be the side, so let's rename it right away. Someone turned my caps lock off. There we go, side. And let me show you the super easy fix for this. You go open, you click on side, and we never said go to folded part or create a folded part or create a, a pattern because we never created a pattern and never made one that we could use. So super easy fix. Click that one button, button in the top, uh, save it. Actually, that's one thing I didn't do. Save that we have a pattern mode of this and when you go back into this you can say uh, base there's that part we were just looking at flat pattern this time nice and can we go one to one Ooh, I think we can check that out we're gonna squeeze all the dimensions in here but I think it's worth it so Let's drop that in, and uh, let's also put in a base of the same thing, but this time let's do a folded ISO top right view, and we're going to have to shrink it down from one to one. Let's make it like half scale, so people can see what it's supposed to look like shaded, which I know shading is going to look kind of boring as this gray, but still looks nice. Click OK. All right, now we can add dimensions on here. There's our six and a half dimension. Awesome. We want between that point and that point, one inch. Excellent. We want people to know that between these two lines is a half inch. And yeah, normally we don't have the dimensions inside the drawing. So after we escape out of that, we can drag that back over to this side. That looks better. And last one. All right, it needs to be that this is two and a quarter tall. That's not the last one. I said it was. I was wrong. We also need the overall height of this is five inches. Cool. So now we have the overall length, the overall height. We have that this is 2.25 up to this bend line here. Uh, we have this fold is a 0.5. Let's put an uh, X2 after that so you know that's on both sides even though you should know that um, now let's do the same thing to this one there's a little X2 alright cool I think that one's done we haven't put our name on it yet so I'm gonna assign this Mr. Thorne Call this the side, and this time it's one to one. Perfect. Let's go from the side. Uh, this says bottom three. You know that's not right. We'll call this handle. Drop in your base. Oh, we can't drop in the base yet. You need to open up the handle. Go open, find your handle, say open again. You have to make a flat pattern. As soon as you make a flat pattern here, you can go back into your drawing file and say base. Well, let's show the ISO top right first. Oh, well, not of that. ISO top right of the handle. That'd be good. And you know what? That looks a little. No, oh, I guess it's not that big. We'll see what it looks like. If we need to shrink it, we can. Okay, base, go to a flat pattern of this, hey, trying to trick me, handle, flat pattern of the handle, and can we get a full scale one to one, no, I should have known that ahead of time, that's okay, let's go to a half scale, half scale is pretty good too, right click, click OK, awesome, now we need the overall dimensions of this guy, which is 13. Uh, 
it would be nice to tell them that this is one inch and they can assume that on both the left and the right but let's go ahead and tell them that this whole thing is 12 all right 0.87 uh, should be 0.875 right let's add an extra five in there it's one of those things where I don't know why it didn't come up 0.875 0.87499258 this is why it was estimating up if we would have just said show me three digits that would have done it and again it's because of the bend because it's calculating for how much material we're bending to save us money if we were a company so again that's pretty cool this is one of those really important things you need to make sure this is one inch if this doesn't match up with our side piece here is one inch it's not gonna look right so it is very important that this is one inch which is why we are going to chain it instead of adding a datum to it so there you want explanations you have one 0.275 from top to bottom that looks pretty good and hey I think this one's done too we just have to autograph it for the title we'll put in handle ooh it'd help if I spelled handle right scale on this we said is half scale one to two and uh, oh let's make it look pretty let's drop in some bases of the assembled toolbox make them ISO top rights shaded but tiny size it. So let's see what uh, one tenth scale looks like. That's too big. Let's go a fifteenth. Look at the little baby toolbox. That's pretty cool. We're going to put those all over this thing. Let's drop one there. We'll drop one over here. Base toolbox ISO top right shaded we said a 15th scale looked pretty good isn't that cool this just makes it look all nice and fancy like base toolbox ISO top right And yeah, we'll throw it in the bomb view too. And again, bomb stands for bill of materials. ISO top right, shaded, 15th scale, bam. Awesome. I've had requests from people to tell me how I print these things. So let me show you. All you do is you go up to the big eye, go down to print. You need to select room 301 from your drop down list. It's the one that says room 301. Actually, I have two options. You can't print to this one, huh? 301 sharp. You say all sheets in range, and then to make sure you print on both sides, you go properties and print on both sides. I normally go tablet, you can do book. Either way is pretty good. Click OK. And then when you go to Preview, make sure this is sitting the way you want it to. Click Print and click OK. There you go. We have it. That's the whole project. Good luck.